Hello again, you're watching Camera Junction and um, welcome back. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say hello to all my new subscribers. Uh, a big thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, it means the world to me. And second of all, I would just like to apologise to my subscribers that I haven't been doing much updates lately. Um, this is due to work uh, commitments. Um, so I haven't had much time in the layout, but the spare time that I have had, I have been doing stuff. And there will be an update coming soon. I'm um, hoping to get a wee bit more done so you can see a significant, a significant change um, from the last update. Um, anyway, this video is about uh, the brilliant Bachman Map 2F uh, coaching stock and DBSOs that I've just been releasing not long ago. Um, this one in front of you is in Scott Rail Livery and this has just been released. Um, this only arrived at my doorstep uh, yesterday. Um, so I thought I would give you a wee look at these coaches and I'll start off by saying that they're expensive. These are all DCC. Now I've got seven coaches and two DBSOs. They're sixty-seven pound odds, almost sixty-eight pound each. They're expensive. Um, the DBSOs are only available in DCC. I couldn't tell you if they work on analog because I don't have the. I wouldn't like to try it anyway, just in case. Um, but I don't have the analog track in my latest DCC. Um, so I don't know if they work or not. There is the 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 rest of the coaching stock. Uh, Map 2F coaching stock, you do get analog coaches as well as the DCC, but the DBSOs are only available in DCC. Um, these were announced five years ago by Bachman, and um, highly anticipated release. I have to say, uh, I've been looking forward to one of these. Um, I've. I live in Scotland. I seen these when they operated. Um, I live on the main line um, between Edinburgh and Aberdeen. Um, I live in Fife, obviously. Uh, and I used to see these on a regular basis um, back in the eighties. Um, I've had people assume that these DBSOs, even in this livery, Scotland livery, only ran with Mark 3A coaches. Now that's not the case. Most of them did, but there was other rakes out there. Um, and at the end of this running session, I've put together two authentic rakes that did run. Um, one's quite an oddball rake. Um, and if you go onto my layout's Facebook page, I've posted some pictures of these oddball rakes with the DBSOs. Um, they did run with a full um, Map 2F set as well, and that was included in the Scott Rail livery. Um, I know that because I've travelled on one myself in 1985. Um, so that was just to clear up any confusion that these do not have to run with Mark 3A coaches. Um, you can run them with Mark 2Fs, the oddball rakes included Mark 2As, etc. So, um, but it'll look nicer with the Mark, uh, Mark 3As, guaranteed. Right, back to the coaches. Now, I think Bachman have done a cracking job on these coaches. I'll give you a little bit of history um, on the DBSO. The DBSOs um, were converted from BSOs in 1979 and BREL's works in Glasgow. They converted 10. In 1985 there was a further 4 converted. These were con these were converted for use on push-pull services on the Scottish network and um, more known on the Edinburgh Waverley to Glasgow Queen Street run. Um, so there was 14 in total converted uh, 10 in 1979, 4 in 1985. Uh, 
the running numbers were 9701 to 9714 and in the late 80s the push pull services were replaced by the 158s um, out of the 14 12 survive two has two two are preserved two have been scrapped now the two have been scrapped um one was 9706 and it was the it was a coach it was the dbso it was on heading the the Pomont rail disaster 1984 now, the other dbso was scrapped in 2016 i don't know much, too much about that i just no, it was scrapped in 2016. The two have been preserved. One is in Ireland and the other one is with the Crew Diesel Preservation Group. Um, so you'll be able to see that there. The, the rest are still in service, which is good. Um, once ScotRail had finished with them, um, these gangway uh, door at the end here was removed and was plated over. And they were converted um, later for use with the AC electric locomotives. Um, so back to this one anyway. Now, back to the model actually, sorry. Um, as you can see, Bachman have done a cracking job. They've captured the look of these really well. There's a tension lock coupling on the front here, but you actually get a bit of a bag of bits uh, with the model, and included with the DBSO is a front apron that right, goes across here. Um, you get other various bits and bobs with it, uh, but the back when I really captured the look of this, the paintwork, the livery, everything is stunning. The printing is brilliant. Um, even the, the lines here, um, there's no bleeding from the colours and each other uh, on the lines. It's so crisp and neat. Um, what you'd expect from Bachman. Uh, the lighting features on these. Now, on the coaches, there's a switch underneath, which is for the flashing tail lamp. Um, you have it on off or flashing. Now the flashing light is obviously the battery, on light is your gas light and um, no gas lamps. Um, obviously you're going to have it off if it's um, in the middle of a rake. Uh, the, the lighting features on all the coaches are fairly similar um, but I'll take you through the DBSO lighting features just now. Oh, first of all, before I do that, this is the bag of bits you get. Then there, there's buffer beam detail. This is not for the DBSO, sorry, this is for the BSO that I've fitted a tail lamp to. Um, you get, there's plenty of detail in there, buffer beam detail, there's jumper cables, etc. And um, you get spare buffers. This long metal strip is for actually removing a lamp iron bracket, which is like a wee blanking plug for the tail light. And uh, you can see the wee white tail lights in there as well. Um, so, plenty of bits. You also get a comprehensive owner's manual. Um, it shows you where these bits go. Uh, and obviously, the, the drawbar, if you want to take the tension lock couplings off and make a permanent fixed rake rake <coughs> rake sorry um, and there's your that's that's what the wee metal bracket does it takes off the uh, your lamp iron as you can see so and there's your two different types of tail lamp you've got your battery and your oil oops, your oil lamp and the other instruction sheet Part of the manual is the DCC functions. Um, 
tells you how to control it all and what each one does. Now, number two function is there's nothing on it, but number two function on a DBSO is the driver's compartment. Um, so, uh, but all the rest is the same for each coach. Um, there's your battery lamp and oil lamp, and you can see the switch on the bottom of the coach there. Um, gives you an idea as, as well if you want the tail light on and which way it's to be uh, on your DCC. So if that's the front of the coach, then that's you know. So it's quite good, and they're quite also. You've got the interlock lights for the door lock mechanisms. Now there's only one coach so far with these, and it's the preserved uh, buffet coach. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. These lights do work, and um, they're part of the DCC as well. So, okay, let's have a look at the lighting features. I'm not going to show you all the coaches because I'd be there all day showing you all the coaches, but the the, the functions are basically the same, and I'll talk you the functions in a minute. Now the DBSO, um, you turn your lights on as your function zero button, as normal. Uh, you've got your directional light, and you've got your forward lights and your reverse lights. Um, now, I bring the coach forward. I'll turn this around a little bit. Sorry, sorry. Um, function two, oh, I'll start at the back, sorry. Function four, and this is the same all the coaches, is your passenger compartment. There. On the BSO and the DBSO, function three lights up the gas compartment. That's so, and mind what I'm saying about the function two button missing, that's for your driver's cab. Light, and there you have it. All the coaches are the same, and um, they've all linked to the same function buttons. So, turn all these off for now. There we go. So, as you can see, turn the, turn the lights off as well. Um, The DBSO has been really well done. And back when I've picked out, um, you've, you've got the wee footsteps under the doors as well. And you've got um, pipe work pa picked out as well, like you do in locomotives and that. Um, you see this lift off panel here has got wee separately fitted like grab rails or you know, for lifting it off. And there's rivet detail on that as well. You got your roof vents. And no, I'm not sure why that's there. I don't think that's meant to be there on the front of the DBSO. It's like a wee foot peg. It might be. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd have to have a look at the real thing again. Um, so that's the DBSO. Now I'll show you the buffy. Um, I'll show you the buffy coach. Move this out the road. And bring in the buffy coach. There we go. Right, now the buffy coach. This buffy coach is depicted in its preserved state. Um, all the footboards are all painted yellow. Um, as you can see, it's got that looking door lights. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think this was available in the 70s or the early 80s in this blue-grey livery. I think this converted coach only came in as early as inner-city livery. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong there, please correct me. But um, I've never ever seen one in blue-grey. So, but the, like I say, this is how it is in its preserved livery. Hence why it's got these interlocking lights, because this is obviously a later coach. Um, the lights are the same. Function four turns on the cabin. Now, 
the difference between the, the, the standard class has got a, a white light and a blue interior and this one has like an orangey interior with white, white tables and this has a it's got more of a subtle lighting uh, more like a yellowy light instead of the white lighting um, but you'll notice in the vestibules they're lit up as well and it's like that with all the coaches uh, and including the toilets are lit up so back when I've done a really good job um, is it worth £67? I have to say yeah uh, I really do have to say yeah the standard coach is £46 odds so you're paying £21 more and for your £21 more you're getting a DCC decoder fitted LED lights fitted all the hard work's been done, all the wiring, everything's been done for you. If you were to do this yourself, you know, then you've got all that work to do. And yeah, it take, maybe takes the fun out of modelling, but for the extra £21, which you would pay for the decoder anyway, it's all done for you. So if you want the DCC ones, they are slightly expensive, but yep, I'd have to say, if you look at it that way, you know, it is worth it and it is a decoder in it obviously because you're controlling the light functions it's not like the horn being marked to ease which were um took their power from the track and the lights were always on and they didn't like the, the toilets or the vegetables and i actually think uh, the mark to ease at horn done that were lit didn't even like the full coach i'm sure it was only like about there same with that side you know it's so there you go um I hope this has given you enough info on these coaches. Um, what I'll do now is I'll have a wee running session with two authentic rakes. And like I said, if you go to my layouts Facebook page, Cup Road Junction, um, you will see a post that I put up with pictures of these oddball rakes. Um, there's also a video and I, I posted on it. It was taken in 1986. And it is a DBSO leading. No, it's not. Sorry, it's a locomotive leading. The DBSO, DBSO is at the end, but it's a full Mark II F rake and Scott Rail livery. So you're welcome to go and check out the Facebook page, and you'll see these as well. Um, but what I'll do now is I'll have this little running session, and um, you can let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, they are expensive these coaches but I think they're well worth it uh, I won't be buying any more uh, unless they bring out the Scotrail liveried um, coaches which yeah I will buy obviously um, but there you go um, the, like I say the two the two authentic rakes I've formed out of these my two DBSOs uh, You'll have to excuse on the blue grey uh, liveried one. The class 47 at the back is not a 47.7, it's a 47.4. This is because Bachman hasn't done a 47.7 in BR Blue Large Logo livery yet. So, bit of luck, Bachman, if you ever see this. Um, we could do with. Uh, they've done it in the Farris range, they've done um, Greyfriars Bobby. Uh, and they done, uh, I think it was St Andrew, they done that one on the, that was in the Farris range as well. That was just BR Blue Standard, um, 47.7s. So, but I'll get on with the B running session and uh, you can let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, if you've got any questions, anything at all, uh, just drop a comment below or you can message me or whatever. Um, so I'll go just now, I'll stop talking and let you see these coaches running and uh, I'd just like to, well, thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you at the next update.
well, there you go, folks. I'll conclude the video there. Um, hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, then please feel free to drop a comment below. And uh, I'll see you all at the next video update. Um, shouldn't be too long. I say I've got quite a, a lot on my plate at the moment, so I'll do what I can when I can. Um, but I'll end the video there, and uh, I'll see you all at the next update. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye now.